Well, you may wonder what we're doing here with all these fancy bits and pieces. This is my friend Dave Mather, who's come to visit us. Special day out. And he's from Oldham Power Tool Centre. He just happens to sell just about everything there is. And one of the devices he sells is a welding torch to do plastic welding. Because the inevitable just might happen. You just might fall off your side stand with your lovely pride and joy and crack the side panels or maybe the fairing or knock the mirror off or whatever. And rather than buy a brand new panel which can cost the earth, Dave here can uh, fix it. So come on Dave, how the flipping it do you fix them? Well what we're going to do, we're going to open it all up, we're going to put a welding rod down it and you'll never know it's been... This isn't as in bright sparky weldings? No, it's hot air. And what does it do? Yeah. Does it like just fuse the plastics together? Yeah, you're just basically putting in another piece of plastic. So go on then, give us a demo. Okay. What do you do first, mate? First, what we've got to do is drill a hole here to stop the crack. Drill it. I'll hand you this here drill. Okay. And I've got a use for that drill. It might just take me three years to use it, but I've got a use for that drill when you finish with it. You're welcome to it. Okay. Nice one. So what's the reason for drilling this hole then? Just to stop the, the crack? Yeah, wandering? it's just to stop the crack going any further. Right then. What next? Now we've got to grind it. Go on then, do it. It's not plugged in. <laughs> <laughs> I was flying then, I felt alright then. You're a natural mate, you're a natural. Is this the one? That's the one. I'll plug it in. If you would. Thank you. Do you know, here's some use sometimes. Oh, it sounds like an dentist for goodness sake. I'll tell you what, I'll hold this for you now. Open wide way. Yeah. Masterful. Right then, mate. Now we've ripped into that with your grinding device. Mm -hmm. What next? Next is to get the hot air gun on it and throw a rod down it. You get the kit together, you practice on some other broken bits and pieces for you, pick, you buy from the local scrap yard. Oh, yeah, car bumpers, mirrors, stuff like that. Oh, so oh, so when we have a bit of misfortune in the car, yeah. break the plastic bumper, you can use the same equipment. Yep, you feel oh, very popular. I'm even more interested now, because just occasionally, only occasionally, I do seem to misjudge those bumpers, you know. So go on then, mate. Rig it up. Let's have a go. OK. This one's on, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, we've got our technician over there, Paul, assisting with the operation. What we have to do now is set the temperature, let it warm up, yep. and then we'll be ready to weld. How long does this take to weld? A couple of minutes. Yeah. If, if you were to take a panel such as this to a, uh, a body repairer, presumably he's going to be talking and expecting uh, to charge about, I don't know, £100 or something? Yeah, I would think so, yeah. If you now weld this up and then I take this to a paint repairer, as a, you know, one of these guys that does all the fancy artworks and decorates the bikes, he could then repaint this in exactly the same guise for what would assumingly be, I don't know, um, 50, 60 quid. Yeah. Half in the price of the it's buying gotta be a, a lot new cheaper. It's got to yeah. be an awful lot cheaper. Okay. Now, if that thing's warmed up, what's the next trick? What are we going to do now? Well, all we've got to do now is get the rod in the hot air gun and apply it to the job. Right. There's di varying different grades of rod then, is there? Yes, there is. There's lots of different ones, and you've got to really experiment to find out which is the right one. And in do how do you do that? Is this what you were doing before on the inside? Yeah, we were just seeing whether you could use that rod. And it was the right one, first time. Is that a calculated guess? Uh, no. It's a man of experience. It's a man of experience in this case. Excellent. I'm well impressed. Right then, let's go for the real thing now. OK. So, do, is that how you have it? Um, really, we want to turn it round so well, we can start this way. OK. OK. Then. okay. Cut a rod to length. If I happen to get in the way by any chap, um, just tell me. I'll actually ignore you because it is my shot. Yeah. It, it's my ball, and if you know, I'll just check it in and I won't play with it. So then, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm intrigued now. I'll hold this for you, mate. You can see the weld filling up the gap. 
Yeah. Oh, it's mm. pushing through. Oh dear. Is this a problem? This is a problem. Oh, it looks good to me, does this? It looks good to me. Okay. Now even that, in that state, is fixable because we've got more material in there. What we'll do, we'll clean that off, put another rod in it, yep. sand it down, yep. and you'll never know I've been there. All right then, mate. I'm going. Right, do we snip this thing off now? Yeah. Okay. So let that dry. I'll put another rod in, and we'll be away. Is this hot to touch? No, it's not. Oh, it would be. It's, it's just warm. I'd scream now if it was stuck to my finger, wouldn't it? Mm -hmm. yeah. You notice how I'm like a little kid, really. I like to play and mess about with things. I've noticed that. Yeah. All right, so how long do we have to wait now, mate? Just give it 10 minutes, let it dry, and we'll put another rod in. Time for the brew. That's the job. After three minutes' work, I do like to stop and have a cup of tea. Me too. We'll go and have a brew. OK. Right then, Dave, we've had a reet nice brew. We have. Let's uh, crack into action again, mate. OK. What now? Well, what we've got to do now is just put another layer on there where I've got it not quite so right. We'll build it back up, sand it back down, and we should be done. This problem you've had, I gather, is because of the size of the gap, and you've just got to keep filling it up until you build up enough material to rub it down, sure. clean it up, and paint it. Right then. We've just got to put the same material back in, so all we've got to do is fill it up, really. OK, got you. Yeah? Go for it, mate. OK. This is you just sizing a piece of uh, rod, then, is it? Yeah, it doesn't really matter how much you use, because you always leave a tail on. OK. Very hot, that. Very hot. Very hot. I'll keep my little pinkies away from it then. Good. Can you just trim this off, do you, the wasted piece? Yeah, just leave it. Then, Let I presume it go then, if we've had to, we don't want to go for another brew now and fill up. So the crap being is we would have to leave this to dry out, would we, cure or whatever it does. Yeah. Then presumably you get your grinder on the job, do you? Yeah, or what, do what would you yeah, use? Yeah, now? what I would do is get my sander, take off the bulk of it, yeah? Yep. And then hand finish it. Okay. Okay, and then it's ready for primer straight over the top. But I gather we can't use this fancy. Oh, wait, have a go at that. That looks like a fancy piece of equipment. Can I just have a little go? Oh, yeah, but you can play with it. No, All right, then, no, okay. You can play with it later. Okay. Right, so we've rubbed that down, and then, and then painting. Now, then, there's some clever lads painting, isn't there? Because yeah, I happen to have one here that we made earlier. And this has been painted by a local body shop. Beautiful, isn't it? I mean, that's just gorgeous. Better than original, isn't it, really? But I just happen to know that this has actually been repaired. Um, and, and you can't tell. I mean, where is it? I haven't got a clue. And I can actually show you on this fairing panel, because I was having a sneak preview earlier, where it's been repaired. I mean, this is, this is as original on a ZX9R, isn't it? Yeah. But on the inside, where's this repaired? There we are. This has all been filled in. The lug's actually broken off there, so he's packed it all up, filled it up, much like we've done here, and it's ready, and it's really, really strong. That's stronger. If it's this fairing breaks again, it yeah. won't be there. This is stronger than the original Yeah, because there's more material, and Got it's you. the same material. Smart stuff. Well, look at that, shiny. Can't quite see the reflection to do my hair in this, but nonetheless. Sorry, mate. OK, the painting, though, the paintwork. Now, that's a different kettle of fish. You just have to be a bit clever on doing the paintwork. Um, and, and there's arty guys who do lots of artwork on the helmets and on the paintworks, and there's guys that can do the job as original. So what we're going to do in the future on Two Wheels Better is uh, get this guy, who's done this sort of paintwork, which is quite fantastic. He's going to take us around his paint shop and show us just how to create such styles as this.